Hey guys, welcome back. I've had a few requests uh, from people to explain exactly what f-stop is or what that means. Um, and it's new to the Phantom 4 Pro. If you've been flying DJI quads um, for a few years like I have, or if you're brand new, the Phantom 4 Pro is the first consumer quad or Phantom quad in its size that has come equipped with the ability to change the f-stop on the camera. Uh, up until now, it was a fixed 2.8 aperture, I believe. The only things you had to worry about were the ISO and the shutter speed. So let's talk about f-stop and what that means, how it works, and how you can use it to your benefit. Basically, f-stop refers to the iris inside the camera. You can kind of look at it this way. The iris inside the camera is not much different than the iris in our own eyes. When it's really dark, you'll notice that people's pupils, my pupils, will be very large because my eyes are trying to gather as much light as possible in a dark area, a dark, dark environment, so my iris opens up to gather in that light. Same thing if it's really bright. You'll notice that in very bright conditions, our pupils, our irises, dial way down to these fine, almost pinpoints, and that's because there's too much light already. There's more light than what's needed to, for our eyes to properly expose the image that we're looking at or the surroundings that we're looking at. So f-stop works the same way, and it's a little confusing. f2.8 means the iris is wide open. You'd think the smaller the number, the smaller the iris, but it's actually reversed. So at f2.8, the iris is wide open. At f11, which is the, the highest f-stop on the Phantom 4 Pro, the f-stop is closed down really tight. So that's great when it's really bright outside. You can, you can close that f-stop down by pushing the f-stop up to f11, and that blocks a lot of the light coming in so you can get your shutter speed down to a manageable level. Now the only caveat to what's the difference of having an f-stop of say f2.8 to f11, f2.8 is great for low light situations, obviously. f11 is great for bright situations. But there's a change that happens that's very important. This change refers to depth of field. Depth of field is defined by the area in which is in focus. So for example, right now the lens that's shooting my face is set to f2.8. Notice how my face is in focus, but look at, say, the lamps behind me. Can you see how out of focus those are? That's because the depth of field is much more shallow when your f-stop is, is lower, at, at like an f2.8. The depth of field, or area that's in focus, is only about from here to where my other hand is, so about this much area. When you push your f-stop up to, say, f11, that depth of field, the area that's in focus, goes even deeper. Here's a quick comparison that I put together. This is just a static image with the Phantom sitting on a table. For this shot, I'm at ISO 200 and the Phantom is shooting at f2.8. Notice the clock on the left and how I will focus on the clock. And then I will tap focus to the dining area. You can see now how it's one or the other. When I focus on the clock, the background goes out of focus. When I focus on the dining area, the clock goes out of focus. That's because it's set at f2.8. Now on this shot, the camera is set to f11, and you'll notice that the entire shot is in focus. I'm tapping on the focus, but you can see nothing coming in or out of focus. Now there's a caveat to shooting at a higher f-stop. At f2.8, I'm shooting at 200 ISO. On the image at f11, I'm shooting at 800 ISO because that aperture is closed way down at f11 compared to f2.8, and therefore I have to compensate for that light loss by upping the ISO. Now the trade-off that comes in is noise. Look at the clock at the image that was shot at f2.8 at ISO 200, and then look at the same shot shot at f11 at ISO 800. You'll notice that the image shot at ISO 800 is not as clear or clean as the image that was shot at ISO 200. That's because of noise. Noise is being introduced into the footage because the ISO is so much higher and it's inadvertently making the image just a little bit softer. So those are the basics about f-stop on the new Phantom 4 Pro. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. If you want to be notified when I upload new videos, don't forget to click the bell next to the subscribe button on my channel. That bell will make sure you get a notification every time I upload something new. If you're new, please subscribe and give me a like if you don't mind. I hope to talk to you guys very soon. Thanks and have a great day.